Today we're installing a Mad Jacks Ultimate Light Kit upgrade on a Club Car Precedent. To begin the installation, you need to already have your Mad Jacks Light Kit installed with the correct harness. If you would like to install your Light Kit and your Ultimate Light Kit upgrade at the same time, you can refer back to the original Mad Jacks Light Kit installation designed for a Club Car Precedent. But make sure not to reattach your dash or reinstall your floorboard until you're done installing your upgrade kit so you can have access to those areas. So included in the Ultimate Light Kit upgrade, is your brake pad, your brake pad mounting screws, your column cover, your turn signal assembly, a new hazard push-pull switch knob, as well as your horn. Now let's get started. To begin our upgrade installation, we're going to remove two of the screws from the back side of our turn signal assembly. Now we're going to place our turn signal assembly over our column cover. reattach using the screws. Once you have your turn signal assembly in place, you can put the back cover on. Now we're going to attach our column cover. You want your harness to go in the channel on this side. Now that we have our turn signal attached to the column, we're going to remove our front dash. We're going to take out the factory screw here, here, and here, and retain. Now we're ready to attach. Now that we have our dash removed, we're going to attach our upgrade indicator to our harness that's on our cart. First thing you need to do is take the cart and switch it into tow and turn the key switch off. You'll notice that we removed the two yellow wires from our push-pull switch. The other thing, we need to unplug our light kit harness from our bucket harness or from your club car factory harness. Once you have that unplugged, there's no power running to this harness. You have four blue spade connectors at the end of your light kit harness. You need to find the two large spade connectors, it's a solid blue wire and a green and white. You need to cut these wires, strip them, and put a butt connector on the end of them. This is going to allow your brake lights to come on. Now that we have our spade terminals connected to each other, you can reattach your light kit harness to your bucket harness or your factory harness. Next, you want to take a multimeter and off the two yellow wires that's coming from your light kit harness, you need to find the 12 volt constant. You can do this by plugging the positive end into the spade terminal and touching the negative on the battery. Once you found that, now you want to take the male purple spade terminal that's coming from your turn signal assembly and plug that in to the yellow wire that has the 12 volt constant. The other yellow wire will not be used and now the two yellow wires coming from your turn signal harness will now plug into the back of your push pull switch that you installed earlier. Now that that's done, you're finished attaching your upgrade harness to your light kit. You want to safely tuck back the harnesses inside your dash and reattach using the factory bolts. Now that your dash is reattached, you're going to remove your light kit knob and replace that with your hazard light knob. Now we're going to install our horn. You want to take the orange and black wire that comes from your headlight harness and plug that into your horn. It does not matter which wire goes to which terminal. Next, using the bracket, you can either use a factory bolt and secure it that way or you can use self tappers and run it into the frame of the cart. Use your discretion. Before we install our brake pad, you'll notice that we removed our floor mats and our brake access panel cover. 
We're going to install our brake pad. Using the six screws provided in the kit, attach the brake pad to the brake pedal. Now that you have your brake pad attached, you want to secure your brake pad harness to the brake pedal and then using your discretion, run your brake pad harness into your brake pad cavity and plug it into either your factory harness or your bucket harness using the female and male bullet connectors. The black spade connector is not going to be used and reattach your brake access. Once you secure your brake pad, reattach your floor cover and reinstall your floor mat. And now you're done installing your Mad Jack's Ultimate Light Kit upgrade on a club car precedent.